We are off to France. We're going to Eurocamp for the week. We're in our car. We're going to drive it an hour and a half to Folkestone, go over the Channel Tunnel, which takes half an hour, and then we've got a two and a half hour drive on the other side until we get to our Eurocamp park. It's quite a nice, easy drive from here, fingers crossed. I'll update you on that in a little bit. The great thing about doing a holiday this way is that we get to take our own car, and what I have found in the packing process is that it means instead of going on a flight, I've just been kind of throwing in more things um which is definitely my style of packing the kind of pack for every eventuality so that's been a big plus point so far i'm gonna hear my dodgy pronunciation now i don't want to deny anyone that it is called la croix de vue pont i'll put that in a caption below so you get the actual spelling of it and we're all very excited because no one has been on the channel tunnel before well i have it's 25 years old this year so i've been on it but you guys no. never been on it. Do you think it's just going to be a train that just drives into the sea? No. It's and we're going to go bloop, 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 no, and hold our breath for half an hour. No, it's going to be in a tunnel anyway. Can't we only hold our breath for like one minute? Mm. Yes, exactly. So that wouldn't work, would it? There's my Dottie. Mama, Dottie? I still haven't Dottie, where are we going? Mm. Are we mm. going Otto, look at the camera. Look. Where are we here. going, Otto? Uh, to the Wait, dark tunnel. The dark tunnel. And where and where does it take us? Uh, to London Bridge. Not to London Bridge. <laughs> We're going to France. but we have arrived at our Eurocamp park. The journey over was actually really easy. I thought it was going to seem longer than it did but I think having the channel crossing in the middle that kind of breaks it up made it a lot smoother a journey. The kids didn't get bored at all. Two and a half hour journey on the other side was when they all kind of calmed down and had naps and stuff. So yeah, really doable journey. Wouldn't hesitate to do it again. We quickly checked into our accommodation. I have done a full mobile home tour, which I will link below. That's going to be a separate video if you're interested in checking that out. And now what we've done is quickly come out to do a boring supermarket trip because we wanted to stock up on food before tomorrow, which is Sunday. And we're not sure what the opening hours are of the shop so we thought let's do that now so we've got all of tomorrow to explore the park and see what's on offer at Eurocamp. Mama, Daddy's house, Daddy and Ratty are coming to the bakery to get some food. Let's go! Captain. Good morning from our pedalo on the lake. This way, Captain. Just being pedalled by three minions in the front there, and Arlo's next to me. We're the snugglers, aren't we? Yeah, that's just, what just I. Just having nice snuggles on the high seas. Aye, <laughs> aye, Captain. Hi, hi, Captain. So it's our first full day here and so far we've kind of just walked around to see what there is. We've been to see the man-made lake where you can swim and make sandcastles and things and I think on the agenda for the afternoon we'll be checking out the swimming pools. We all slept really well last night. The um, place that we're staying in has these like blackout blinds as well as curtains so the rooms were really dark which means the kids actually slept for about an hour longer than they normally would do at home which is always a bonus. The end of our first full day here at Eurocamp 
Le Croix de Viewpoint. The kids are just playing outside just behind me. It's actually really nice. Everyone's got their own little pitch in front of their mobile homes or their tents, whichever um, accommodation option they've got. And kind of all the kids at this time of the evening seem to come out and sort of play together on the streets and the pitch outside, which is really sort of nice kind of communal social feel. So what we did with our afternoon was check out the swimming pools. There are way more pools than I realised. Um, so it's all kind of under one complex and within the same space there is a children's sort of splash park type thing with loads of like structures that spray out water. Then there's the children's pool which is all shallow and has slides and things. Then there's two sort of adult pools I guess but they're children's pools as well for kind of more confident swimmers um, and there's water slides as well and you see I'm not allowed to film in the pool areas uh, but I'll try and explain it as best I can so they're all in one place and they're all under a glass retractable roof which kind of gives you the best of both worlds because it means when the weather's not great you've got an indoor pool that you can swim in and when the weather is great they retract the roof and it's an outdoor pool so whatever the temperature you can still do swimming which was one of the reasons that we chose this particular Euro camp park because we knew we were coming May half term we weren't sure sometimes you get amazing weather sometimes you get not so great weather and we just really wanted the kids to be able to do swimming whichever weather we ended up with <laughs> Proper names. <laughs> We've come to the bowling alley, which is here at Le Croix de Vipon, and I'm gonna win. No, you're not. I'm really good at bowling. Oh, right. I know. <laughs> Pony riding. Here's a horse. They just sort of let us take these ponies out and told us not to let them eat grass, but that's actually really difficult. And now we've got lost, so now we're trying to get back to the uh, horse place. You having fun, Rose? Yeah. Got it? He's in it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the first sighting of the Eiffel well Tower okay? in real life. Hello. Say hi, Rose. Hi. Where are we? In Paris. We didn't want to drive in the centre of Paris, so we drove from our Euro campsite about an hour to um, a metro station, which was kind of like in the suburbs, and we parked our car there, and then we got the metro into the centre of Paris. <laughs> than it but 
it's not classified as a building so that's why the Shah is the tallest building even though this is like a whole 14 meters taller than it we are at the top of the tallest structure in the whole continent can you believe it look how look how high up we are crazy <laughs> Is it today? Is it Otto's? It's your birthday. <laughs> How old are you today? Uh, one. <laughs> He's the one today. How old are you? One. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> He's old. <laughs> what if you can't? Oh. I'm gonna go up. <gasps> Dinosaur! Let's see what's inside. Can I open this? Yeah. Happy birthday, Otto. Happy birthday, Otto. It's your gizmo. Yeah. Today is a very special day on our Euro camp trip because it's Otto's birthday. He is yeah. three today. The day is completely up to him, so we've been doing all of his favourite things. We've done the go karts and the bouncy castle and things that they have down at the children's area for kids here at Euro camp. And then this afternoon he wants to go swimming, so we're going to go to the swimming pool area. And then I think we're going to have a little cake and a little birthday celebration for him. What is it, Otto? Is it, is it treasure? Otto? Treasure, treasure map. map. From who? Die. Otto. From Captain. Otto. They'll never die. find my treasure. It's the treasure. We found it. It's what is it? Some rubbish it's by the recycling. Ah, no, that was my bottles of beer that I drank before I hid my treasure. Ha 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 Is that the treasure? No, that was my beer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a booby prize. Well, it's a nice on this one. It's a nice on Keep searching, mateys. Oh, no, what have you found? What's that, Otto? Can you reach it up Can you get that piece of paper? Yeah. I'll hold this Can a brother get it forward? I can. Can you? Ah, he can just about reach. Let me have it. Uh, what you got? It's a Jewish it's scroll. A it's a treasure map. Oh, wow, what is it? Oh, it, oh I see. That's another map. It's by the willow. Otto, it's in our garden. <gasps> what is it? Is that the treasure? Ah, I've already found my treasure. <gasps> Part the parcel. This is for sharing. It 
it is Friday, which means it's our last full day here at Eurocamp, and today has been a really warm, lovely day. The rest of the days have been around 20 degrees, and today was, I think it was about 25, so really hot. So we've done lots of swimming, lots of stuff outdoors, and it's just felt like a really nice kind of vibe around the park. And now it's dinner time, so we're about to go to bed and start our journey home tomorrow. And we're just having some pizza and some chicken and chips from one of the local takeaway restaurants on the Eurocamp Park. It's gone quickly. It has gone quickly, hasn't yeah. it? Have you had a nice time? Yeah. Yeah, have you had a nice holiday, Otto? Yeah. Rory? Yeah. You've had a lovely holiday, haven't you? You've enjoyed being with your brothers and your family. Yeah. And getting to walk lots instead of being in your buggy. Right, everybody, we're all packed up and ready to go. It's time to say bye bye to our little house. Bye bye, little house. Bye bye. Have you had a nice week? Yeah. yeah.